welcome to our lesson 9 we are still continuing with the uh, work energy power and simple machines so today we are going to concentrate on pulley the previous lesson we looked at lever okay and we had three classes of lever using which acronym FLAIR when fulcrum is at the center that is first class lever when load is at the center that is a second class lever and when effort is at the center in the middle then we have third class lever today we look at pulley so first we start by defining what is a pulley so we say a pulley is a simple machine okay is a simple machine that comprises of a groove on the wheel which helps facilitate the movement of the rope which is connected to the load and the opposite side effort is applied so you can look at that definition on the board you can have it a simple machine that comprises of a wheel with a groove on it to support the movement of a rope or a string so the basic thing is that uh, you have to get the shape of the pulley correctly if you look at bicycles the rim of the bicycle can be used as a simple pulley if you put a rope on that groove the rim of a bicycle okay so in the laboratory you have a groove okay and this wheel is free to rotate about its center okay it can rotate about its center so let us look at a few examples here which i have drawn let us focus on example one somewhere there you have the load here and you are applying the effort there so what can you say about that we are seeing that in the pulley system okay your effort is like converted to an upward effort what do i mean suppose i have this pulley which is fixed here and i tie a rope here so i want this system which is a simple machine to help me lift the load so the intention is the load to go up i don't want just to lift it myself okay so i use an arrangement with which can help me do the same work so what do i do i fix a pulley up there i tie the rope to the to the load and i apply my effort here i am applying my effort here so in a sense that effort is like pulling the rope downwards but the rope that is tied on the load will lift my load okay so this pulley is now a simple machine it is going to help me do my work in an easier way and more conveniently but suppose suppose we talk about frictionless pulley let us talk about this pulley has no friction okay so 
remember the three aspects which we shall be looking at in one of the lesson we have velocity ratio mechanical advantage and efficiency so suppose the effort moves by one meter downward it is obvious the load will also go up by one meter suppose it is frictionless so if distance moved by effort is one and the distance moved by load is one then we say this pulley system has a velocity ratio of one okay has a velocity ratio of one okay so velocity ratio here we can write is one let us look at this example second example so two pulley system okay in a two pulley system so this system you can see this part and this part will move in response to the distance moved by effort what do i mean what do i mean that there will be reduction in the length shared by two parts so we have this here if it moves by one meter if it moves by one meter okay this movement of one meter will be shared by this and this string because they are the ones which are responsible for lifting the load okay so in a sense the load moves up by 0 0.5 because there are two parts sharing the movement of effort if the effort is pulled by one meter the way i've shown okay if the effort is pulled by one meter here i pull this side one meter this string this part and also this part so there is a part on the right of this lower pulley and there's also a part on the left hand side the two parts will share that in fact you can also take it from tension point of view okay if this load for example is a hundred newtons it is as good as saying this part supports 50 newtons and this supports 50 newtons if you have a big bag when you are closing school if you are carrying it alone you alone you support the 100 grams or we use another example 200 kgs an example too much for a student's bag let us go to 70 seven kilograms you have finished school you have books you have uniform and so on so i am struggling with that bag i'm struggling with that bag alone i'm alone okay i'm struggling with that bag so that is my bag so you are supporting this 75 newtons so you are you are your effort here is basically 75 newton if you are you are to lift it so if you call a friend to come and help you if you call a friend now there is a friend lifting and another friend lifting here so you will share this 75 so you will get half of 75 maybe i use a good figure 30 so we are talking of 35 newton and this 35 newton okay 
that is simple from the load point of view so i want you to also uh, take it from the rope point of view when when this effort travels by one meter the strings that go round the the pulley which supports the load the pulley that supports the load this is the pulley that supports this load so it will share that one meter so in a sense this load goes up by half a meter so if i may put this rightly now this goes by 0 0.5 meter therefore we can say velocity ratio is equal to distance moved by effort over distance moved by load which is 1 over 0 0.5 which is equal to 2 that is how you get it and I want you to see even here those arrows show the support of the load they are the ones which support the load okay now let us look at number three and then I will focus my camera properly let us look at number three we want to argue using the same example suppose this moves by 1.2 meters suppose the effort moves by 1.2 meters that 1.2 will be shared by the ropes that support the pulley which holds the load in other words the movement of point E has an effect on this it will have the effect on this part and also on this part they will have to move so we want to understand how or to what extent is their movement in a simple way this lower load this load is attached to this pulley this pulley has these three components of the rope the three components of the rope will share that movement so in a sense we are talking about the load moves up by 1.2 divide by 3 you get 0 0.4 meters so let me focus the camera i want just to focus the camera so that i have some space to write at the same time at the same time we still refer to our diagrams so i have some space down here i will just remind you the distance moved by effort will always be shared by the pieces of the string that support a pulley who, whose lower end hold the load this is the pulley that holds the load the three pieces are one two three in all those three pieces again you will have tension you will have tension so long as this move this will have tension will have tension will have tension so this movement will be shared by these three pieces and as such i write 1.2 divided by the three pieces which give me 0 0.4 so if i want to calculate velocity ratio I say distance moved by effort over distance moved by load 1.2 over 0 0.4 and that gives me 3 that gives me 3 okay gives me 3 
there. Okay, so velocity ratio, distance moved by effort over distance moved by load. If this is 1.2 and this goes up 0 0.4, then the velocity ratio of the system is 3. And I want you to look at this. I'll put them in blue for easy understanding of the support. What tension supports the load? That is what can help you understand the whole system. Look at that. Look at that. And here you can write, look at that. So, note, the blue arrows can help you tell what I mean by the parts or component of the string that support the load. Okay, so this is very important for you because you can be given a system and you can be asked to find out velocity ratio. I want you to try with four pulleys and with five pulleys. Okay, with four pulleys and also with five pulleys so that you are able to understand how to get velocity ratio from already drawn pulley. I want to conclude by doing just one more thing. How do you draw a rope on a given or on given number of wheels? On given number of wheels. I will again want to focus my camera right down there, right down here so that we are able to see what I mean by rope going round. So I have here, for example, one, two, three, four. Okay, I have four, four. Let me focus it a bit better. Yeah, four. So I have the four. Normally, what you would do, I'm using red as a rope, you would start with the upmost and fix here, effort. Okay? Then, go around the top, go around the bottom, go around next, go around next, and then in the middle. So, because I want to show you something, I will repeat, I want to separate them a bit so that it is it looks nice. One. There, I think we are able to see that. So I'll repeat. You put there the effort, then you go round, come to the lower pulley, go round, the second from top, keep on doing that, and then hang. Now you can see the end point has divided two on the upper part and two on the lower part. So those will be drawn as blocks like that. And then you fix this, this. So again, there. So we have our load somewhere here. Okay. So number one, start from one side, maybe the right hand side, indicate effort. Then the string should go round the top, then you go to the bottom. So if I label them, I have one, two, three, four. So you go round one, you go round four. Then you come up two, and then three. Then you leave it. So when it is hanging like that, you hook it, you hook it from top, you hook it from top, so you have that hook from top, okay, it ended from the lower pulley, so the hook must come from top, this is a simple way of drawing a rope around the pulley, then remember, I want you to find out what is the velocity ratio, Okay, what is the velocity ratio? 
I can just give you a clue. This load is supported by this and that. You look at the ropes that are supporting them. Okay? Then you draw using blue, show me the tension. You can do one more here. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five of them. Now, we begin, draw from one side, indicate the effort. After that, I have one, two, three, four, five. So one, go round one, go round five. Go round two, go round three. I mean four. And then go round three. Seems it is ending there. So what do you do? This is the end. That means on top I have three pulley system. The three pulley system on top fixed there. Then below this end I have two. Okay, fix there. Put your load there. Okay. Then what do you do? You since it is it is it is ending after going around the top, the hook must come from the bottom, like that. Okay? You, you have enough space, so don't draw them very close if you want to understand. Draw them a bit spacious. Then, again, remember, top, number one. Go round number five. Come up number two. Go down number four. Go round number three. Since the rope has been round, it will hang somewhere here. This rope came from the top pulley. The hook must come from the bottom pulley. Okay. So, if I may draw here with a bit of space, I want to indicate something here. The hook is there. That is the hook there. So you have, you have there. Now, I want you to know on the lower pulley, on the lower part, I have two pulley supporting the load. There, there is one piece here, one piece. There's another piece here, another piece, and another piece. Can you find out if effort if effort moves by, if the effort moves by, let's say, uh, 1.5 meters, get for me velocity ratio is equal to what? Get for me a velocity ratio is equal to what? Okay? Let us say this one moves by 2 meters. You can find out from those two examples if you understood that. Okay. So, as I conclude, we have defined what is a pulley. Okay, it's a simple machine which comprises of a wheel which has a groove that supports the movement of a string. Then we came and we have seen one pulley, two pulley three pulley systems okay in those pulleys i've shown you an example if effort moves by x meters and you ask for velocity ratio you should know that movement by effort of x meters is divided by the number of strings that support the pulley or pulleys that are attached to the load. Okay. If the effort moves by X meters, find out how many components are supporting a pulley or pulleys that 
are attached to the load. Each component moves by x divided by the number of those components. That gives you velocity ratio so that you can easily tell. However, it is not true to say that always the number of pulleys is equal to velocity ratio. No. In some cases, you may have convenient pulley, which just facilitate the ease with which you do work, but not necessarily determining the velocity ratio. Okay? So, please, the bottom line is the strings, bottom line, the strings that support the load gives you the number of uh, the velocity ratio. So it is not necessarily number of pulleys is equal to velocity ratio. There is somewhere there is a deviation. Okay. Till tomorrow, keep on subscribing. You get this. This is taught because of there is a girl, I don't know from which school, Abdallah or somebody, there is a name. She said we have to go through this. So I'm doing it slowly so that you get the points. We shall have a point where we shall do calculations. But let us get each aspect. We still have things like inclined plane. We still have uh, wheel and axle. Okay. Even this, it is a wheel on an axle. But we shall do wheel and axle in another perspective. Okay? Wheel and axle is basically gurudumu linaro zunguka eskeli. Gurudumu linaro zunguka eskeli. Okay? So, bye bye. See you.